Scene three. Our heroic guards are guarding the skull of Macbeth. Guarding the head of a homicidal maniac. Oh, come on. Let's let history judge this man. You're serious. I am. He had great policies. Imagine what he could have done if he and Claudius had been left alone. Uh, what about all the murdered families? It's collateral damage. Your comments grow more disturbing than each assignment. What? Look, the only difference between the guy's head who's on a spike and the guy who put the guy's head on the spike is military strategy. Okay, well, I, I'd assume that you describe a, you know, that you describe a king's success to God or fate. All right, God gave the winner the winning sense of military strategy. How convenient. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I, I mean, see, what do you, what do you want from him? All right, I mean, I mean, the guy lived. He actually lived. I mean, have you ever lived like this guy? I mean, he had his ups and downs. But what was the highest high you achieved over the last year? In March, I had some terrific soup. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst thing you've ever done? Um, I, I don't act. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Not, not like that. I mean, I... I don't do anything. I mean, you know, day after day, I stand here day after day and I watch as momentous events occur right in front of me, and I don't do anything to change it. Why would you? That's above your pay grade. Well, that, that's the worst thing I do. I, it, the worst thing I do is nothing. Right? I, I stand here day after day with a weapon in my hand, and I do nothing about it. I just hold it. Okay, you know, I'm not going to have you denigrate our profession. Our assignments may not always be glamorous, but we serve a purpose. Yeah, that's what we're told, so that's what we do. We do what we are told, and I suppose that absolves us of all responsibility? Yes! <laughs> okay, well, that makes us accomplices, okay? I don't feel as free of a responsibility that you do. Right? I stand two, sometimes three feet away from kings, living gods. I feel like I should at the very least be speaking out against them. Then what's stopping you? Ending up like him. Okay, they would never put your head on a spike. You are not influential enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your comforting thoughts. Look, and seriously, I, I, I'm baffled that your impulse is to speak out. Speaking out gets you killed. You want to do something? You want to actually make a change? Take the sword in your hand and sword them with it. Can sword you sword? <laughs> I'm fairly sure I can. Uh, yes, I'm fairly sure I can, but please, do go on about murder. Okay. Murder is the only way to actually accomplish anything. Okay, so, well, how, how do you figure? I mean, one murder takes place from another. Exactly. But there's a sweet spot, okay? Right when the new murderer is taking over, when he's a little less murdery. And those are the good days. <laughs> I have a theory about good times, right? Any good times in life, uh, they're going to last about a week. That's all you got. Good times in love, good times in politics, good times in family. One week. Interesting. So you're saying that if I speak out against injustice, I accomplish nothing. But if I murder an, a, a, a corrupt politician, then I get maybe a week of good times? Yeah, not quite seven days. It's more like six and a half, but yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> you know, what's depressing about that is that that actually sounds accurate. Aw, thank you! I finally get some credit! I, I gotta get out of here. I, 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 need, I need something different. Whoa.